Alright guys, I'm making this video to talk to you about Gerzini. If you didn't catch it when it came out Season 1 and Season 2. You could not catch it because it's baseball anime. Knock that one out of the park. <laughs> but, uh, so, if you like animes like One Outs, Diamond of Ace, Major, this is nothing like that. Because those shows all focus on the main picture and it's about their athletic ability. The thing Gerzini does that's like super original and you don't see it much but kind of makes it hard to uh, relate to is it follows Japanese baseball the whole world of Japanese baseball it's not about one pitch even though he's the main character Bonda Natsunosuke our lord and savior middle relief pitcher not even the starter it follows him and his main thing is he can pitch really well when he's against batters that are making less money than him if they're making more money he gets intimidated and he sucks and that's how Bonda's mindset is. It's all about the money you can make while you're a pro. Like the living you can make, the living you can make after you become a pro, how these are like the prime years of his life. And it follows him through like a, it follows the Jingu Spiders through like a whole season of Japanese baseball, which it teaches you a lot. I don't watch baseball. I watch a lot of baseball animes because I think they're super interesting. One House is my favorite by far. Um, because that's like a strategy baseball anime. That sh it was awesome. <laughs> but, uh, this is like a really neat take on it because it doesn't just follow Bondo it follows other players like struggling players that are like on their last legs about to get cut from the league sent to the minor league focuses on the minor league in Japanese and explains it a little bit better because I don't know anything about it um, and then it explains like casters, column, color commentators, all this advanced stuff about Japanese baseball which I don't understand but I don't have to understand it for for me to learn about it and for it to be an interesting show. It's kind of like watching Akagi and Mahjong. I don't know sh nothing about Mahjong, but this was that was one of my favorite animes as well because of just the suspense and the climax and all the like all the uh, atmosphere that's in the anime. So, Bond announced this is one thing they did really good too that I loved um when they were releasing the episodes, everybody was waiting for the best girl to come out the character that she's in the opening she's in the picture of the anime she's in the ending and people are like when's she gonna come she's not in this episode she does not show up till the 12th episode of the first season and this triggered so many people she does have a big role in the second season so if that's what you're waiting for some kind of like romance it gets there it gets there it just doesn't start with it and I thought that was beautiful because it trolled people so hard I don't know if they did it intentionally but it was super well done and hilarious to me to just read the comments about people being like, she still hasn't shown up. Like, where is she? <laughs> and, um, so this addresses a lot of serious topics too. Like, if you're not performing in Japanese baseball, it's pretty rigid. And, like, if you, there's also, like, if you were a hero at one point, the Japanese people keep you at that height. They, it's not like American sports where when you start declining, even if you are a legend, People don't want to watch you do it anymore. Japanese, they'll be a little bit more lenient because you had that legend status and they'll still give you a contract just to keep you on the team to bring in fans. So it's more about bringing in the fans than rather than them doing good. Um, and it explained the pennant race. I didn't know anything about that. It's like the playoffs for Japanese baseball. There's a pennant race. Um, I'm still probably like a little bit out of my depth in this because all I know is from watching this anime pretty much. Because most baseball animes, when you watch them, they don't go over, like, the intricate details of the season and, like, um, how players are traded, treated, their contracts. One out talks about contracts, but that's just because the main character has his own special contract with the manager because he's trying to screw him over. But, yeah, that's a good show. If you haven't watched that, that's something you should, you probably enjoy if you're into shows like Akagi, Kaiji, um... Shows with like badass, cold, meticulous characters that are like really smart. That would be a, a baseball anime for you. Um, if you don't like sports animes, this might is probably definitely not the one for you. If you don't like sports animes already and you just don't care for sports, because the whole thing is focusing on how like making you understand the Japanese baseball world more. It has some comedy too because some of the scenarios are like so out out of there and like how Japanese customs are and how they interact with each other. This is a really super realistic anime because it takes the Japanese customs into account how they approach the players, how they discuss things. And one of the most like stressful, climatic 
episodes is toward the end of the series. I'm not going to let you know what happens. But Bond is negotiating his contract after all the stuff that happened throughout the season. And it is stressful. Because if you like have social anxiety and you have a hard time like speaking up for yourself and talking. Or if you ever had that feeling in real life. You will be like stressed out watching it. You're just like oh my god. <laughs> I hope this goes well. But yeah it's... Oh, it's so good. Um, it also addresses things like injuries. It doesn't spend that much time on it, but it really shows how can it, it can affect a player's career. How players have like certain things that can keep them playing at the top of their level to the bottom, just like from a mental mind game kind of thing, which is like a pretty big part towards the end. Um, and Bond is like a super likable guy. He's uh, Mostly cares about the money. That's like his main thing. But he's like, he has a bunch of friends and he like thinks about their futures and kind of explains things to you in like a way to let you understand their like circumstances because a lot of them are in like a bad situation. It like shows a lot of the dark side of the baseball world, even though it does show like, it does not show near as much like players super succeeding as it does show like the dark side of like everything so it's kind of like the opposite of what a baseball anime usually is where you see like the top players doing like crazy pitches and stuff like that because Bonda doesn't really do a crazy pitch he's just a really good uh, lefty that's like a middle relief person that has like super good accuracy that's I think his thing like super good accuracy not like Toka super good accuracy but good enough and his ability to strike out people that are lower than his uh his uh, salary so if they're under his salary he's probably going to strike him out which is kind of funny because they're just like I don't think any of the other characters realize it but the pitching coach realizes it and he's like oh god <laughs> Bond is against somebody that's making more money than him and how Bond is freaking out granted it's not one of those animes where it's going to sit It's this is where it keeps his realism it's not one of those animes that just because it says that he can only pitch against people that are lower salaries. It's not always like that. So you it's not gonna be that cut and dry. You're not it keeps you like guessing how he's gonna do from the situation because it's not always that he's gonna pitch super bad against somebody that's making more money. There's other factors that take into account. Um it talks about how like foreign players come to baseball and play in Japan and it talks about how players go from Japan to play in other sports when they can't find a team. And, like, the process of having to find a team when they can't find one. And just how, like, the overall impact of their season can change their entire lives. And I think Gurzini, uh translates to the money pitch. And his, like, saying is there's money buried under the mound because depending on how he does, the more his salary. So it just builds up, like, the anime builds up throughout the season. And then you just, wanted, I wanted to know how much money he was going to make. That was one of the things I was wondering about at the end of the season. That was one of my main concerns. And they handled that super well. It was super climatic. Oh my gosh. And it was, I, I, I would love to see a season three because I, like I said about Yakitate Japan, it was a really good ending and they could end it there. Well, I didn't say that about Yakitate Japan, but I wanted to see more. Like it wasn't a bad ending, but I wanted to see more. That's what I said. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just to correct myself so if you haven't checked it out and you have any interest in sports animes and or you just want to learn something new about Japan culture this is a good anime to watch if you have no interest in sports I would probably steer clear of it though I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not gonna be like oh this is still a great anime if you don't care about sports if you don't care about sports at all you're probably gonna be bored out of your mind you're just gonna be like why am I watching this anime about sports but yeah, if you've already seen it, tell me why Gurzini was a home run or a strike to you. That's my last baseball joke for now. <laughs> and, uh, I might do a one out anime uh, anime review because like thinking about it, like talking about this anime, it really made me think about one outs and how much I really enjoyed that anime. Super well done. If you haven't watched that one, watch that one for sure. Give that one a chance even if you don't like sports anime. That's the one you need to check out right there. But... Thanks again for watching. Hopefully see you next time. Leave a comment if, um, on any of these videos. I love to talk to people about anime. That's like my passion. Alright, thanks again.